bitch, nigga. I fucked your bitch. Oh. I fucked your bitch, nigga. I fucked your bitch. Oh. She sucked my dick, nigga. She sucked my dick. She sucked my dick, nigga. She sucked my dick. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my video of the day. And today's video will be called, as you can see on the description and title, Dragon Ball Z Revival of F is gonna suck dick. Now, before going into this reason why, well, all the reasons why it'll suck dick outside of it just being Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Z hasn't been good since Namek, I have a track record of usually being right about these things whenever I make a video on it. I said Sonic Boom would suck, it sucked. I said Dragon Ball Z Battle of the Gods, the previous movie, the prequel if you will, would suck, and it did! Now, of course, the Dragon Ball Z pigs, as I call them, not other fanboys, Dragon Ball Z pigs, because pigs will eat anything, no matter what you give it to them. They eat out of the trough that Toriyama provides for them, and they just eat it up. It's fine, you know, oh, well, you know, it's, it, it's Dragon Ball Z. I just want to see Goku and Vegeta rub their cocks together. You know, nothing special. Just want to see that. So they'll eat anything that the farmer, Farmer Toriyama is what I'll call it. Now, Farmer Toriyama is going to feed them from the trough, and they'll eat anything they want. So I've even said Battle of the Gods will suck. I said... Uh, there have been so many things I've exposed on this site. Naruto vs. Sasuke being garbage, which it was, okay, may not have been the worst fight in the entire fucking series, but come on now, son. You know it was not good. It was not built up. It was built up to be average at best. Maybe on acid. If you were on acid, you would think it was an average fight. Maybe. But, without getting sidetracked. Reason number one why bat revival of Fucking sucks. Will suck. <laughs> Frieza's new form. What in the fuck is this? Wait a minute. Why is Frieza even a threat in 2015? Frieza was a villain who was barely intimidating as an elementary schooler. And when you were in an elementary school, you know, you were fucking watching Dragon Ball Z. You were just not waiting for him to get beasted. Okay, he had some cool moments, I guess. You know, it's fucking Namek. Namek was the last solid thing to come from Dragon Ball Z. As we all know, it's not really debatable. It's sort of just like what everybody agrees on, but nobody really expands on it. Nobody really likes to talk about it because it's really just kind of a damn shame. You're like, damn, Namek was hyped. I know, let's just wait for the androids. Okay, yeah, uh, Ooh, well, you know, it still wasn't, it's, it's not bad. Oh, Majin Buu, oh, a fat blob, oh, okay. It goes from a fat blob to an auti even more autistic blob. Okay, he turns people into chocolate, yeah. So, now we have Akira Toriyama, father, I mean, not father Toriyama, farmer Toriyama, going back to the good old glory days where everything was fine, everything was good. Oh, yeah, bro, remember the old, good old Frieza, he's coming back. His henchmen, who somehow survived and he has a low shit load of henchmen, are somehow just now coming back and they're just now getting the Dragon Balls and they're just now bringing back fucking Frieza. And it's really a fucking retarded thing because. All right, I'll level with this. I'll, I'll talk on your fucking standards. Power level wise, there should every person who should be the, who should fucking be a Super Saiyan level in terms of power levels should shit and freeze his mouth. He really should not stand a chance. I don't know how much this new form gives to him because I have not live. I don't. I'm not a Japanese person. I don't live in Japan. Obviously, I am not going to see this movie until it comes out here, so I can make another video on it. Then again, bashing it once again. However, however, with this into consideration. We must now talk about the real point ahead, the power levels, and that is how the fuck is Frieza going to stand a chance against these people? And Dirty D was reading the manga, he was telling me about that shit, he was like, man, you know Gohan forgot to be Super Saiyan? I'm like, what? He forgot how to turn Super Saiyan? Yeah, man, you know, he, he, it's been so long since he trained. So, what's another thing we now have is Toriyama shoving his 10-inch cock up Gohan's ass. Yeah, you suck, son. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, take it, son. You're garbage. You're the strongest character yet. I will never let you do anything. Bills fucked you up, and now you ain't gonna do shit, son. Not only are you not mystic no more, you ain't got no Super Saiyan, son. Ooh, ooh. Though I hear later on it gets Super Saiyan, but it's just a stupid thing to do. I mean, you have Frieza coming back. Gohan should just be able to just come up and cock slap him, but now he's forgotten to go oh, Super Saiyan, even though I'm sure his new form is stronger than Super Saiyan because I saw that retarded ass blue ass hair. 
blue hair for a Super Saiyan transformation. So not only do we have that, we had that fucking... Super Saiyan God is already retarded enough concept as it is. First of all, why was Gohan not given Super Saiyan God? He's literally the strongest Saiyan that there ever was. Allegedly, because the Kiri Toriyama always backpedals, you know, always backpedaling. You're never really sure what what's what in Dragon Ball Z, because he's always backpedaling, always bullshitting. Oh man, Vegeta was an elite Saiyan, and uh, Goku was a low-class Saiyan, but you know, he can still win with hard work, even though Vegeta trains harder. But also, that's only because Vegeta doesn't get enough rest and enough protein in his diet, so Super Saiyan-wise, uh, he's still inferior to uh, Goku, you know, even though he trains more and he was born in the leap, and if Vegeta fought any of the motherfuckers from Dragon Ball as a kid, it would have been over in like one chapter. But, you know, the DBZ pigs will eat it up because it's Dragon Ball Z and it's a part of my childhood. Just like Naruto. It's the same Naruto mania that is brought out from this generation. There was also DBZ mania from the previous generation. Motherfuckers just refused to, no, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. La, 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 la. Goku's a beast. Vegeta's a beast too, you know. La, 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 la. I don't see any flaws with this. Nothing wrong with this. So, based off of that alone, we're not even talking about, well, now we are because I'm switching to that. We're not even talking about the inconsistencies that just these two movies alone bring into the series. Fucking Master Roshi? Master Roshi using a Kamehameha blast on a Frieza fucking... I want a Frieza's henchman? Wait a fucking minute now. Wasn't Master Roshi shitting his pants when Raditz showed up in the first chapter? Oh, fuck! Oh, oh, he's so strong. He took... I let him take Gohan away and we, we just stood here while Goku got beasted. Oh, so you're telling me somebody whose power level is impressive only to the Dragon Ball era is now strong enough to blow away fucking one of, a bunch of Frieza's henchmen in one blast? I saw it in the fucking PV. Don't you think you can escape me, Farmer Toriyama? I know your strategy by now. You're trying to make everybody forget about the substance. <laughs> substance, Dragon Ball Z. But you're trying to everyone forget about the plot relevancy in this fucking movie by, oh, you know, uh -huh, I see, oh, ooh, Kamehameha Blast, oh, look, look, there's nothing fishy about that, look, Master Roshi's beasting people, even though he couldn't even take on Raditz, yet, the, uh, who was, by the way, a level of a Cyberman, let's not forget that. So what has Master Roshi been doing? You're telling me Master Roshi's been training, but Gohan hasn't? You're telling me his fapping arm has gotten so much better since the old days that, oh, well, you know, it's just... I could shoot out stronger beams now that can destroy Frieza's henchmen. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. But I'm gonna fucking edit this video real quick, because the camera's dying. I'll make it, I'm gonna add this on. It's gonna cut off right here, but I'll be right back. I swear. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are now live again for a Dragon Ball Z Revival of F Sucks Part 2 or whatever section of this video that I end up editing it on. Because YouTube is kind of lame with me. I think I'm in positive standing, but not for long after this video, and I know the reason I had to make that one Naruto video, two parts where I was shitting on the end of Naruto, was because I was in bad standing. But anyway, back to um, what I was talking about, Master Roshi blasting away Frieza's henchmen with his Kamehameha wave where his fucking, at his peak, he was like at a hundred or some shit? when. He can't kill, he can't kill fucking Nappa, he can't kill Raditz, he can't even, do, he can't do any of that shit. And then he can blast away to at least 20 of Frieza's henchmen with a, just a normal command mail wave, no KOK, okay, no nothing, just pure Master Roshi, Master Roshi doing this. So you're implying that these people who made Vegeta their bitch when he was a kid, you know, the guy who saw those all of Dragon Ball, like I said earlier, is strong enough. Or I should say, they're weak enough for fucking Master Roshi to beast Toriyama. I know you're a farmer. I know you're not about your story being good or your characters being good or anything being good anymore as long as you get that cash. But for fuck's sake, man, at least try. You got everybody on your puppet strings and you're just fucking saying, hey, I'll just throw out whatever. Revival of F. What's next? Rev Revival of C? The Return of Fucking Cell? Is that what's next? I even heard, not sure if this is a rumor, but if this is true, please let me know that possibly there's going to be something about Broly going Super Saiyan God. 
So just like the initial creation of Super Saiyan is going to be spammed across the entire series with for no fucking reason, making everything even more bland than it was before. That's right. If we, if I'm to believe what I've been hearing, we're either getting more movies or an actual series based off of this shit. It's like Dragon Ball Z was already bad when it ended. Why is it even going on now? I understand Japan loves it. I understand it's part of their culture. Everybody loves Dragon Ball Z. Cool, fine. But for fuck's sake, do something new with it. How many times are we gonna see Goku and Vegeta just bro it up and be like, yeah, you know, I think it's time. Hey, what about your son? Eh, fuck Gohan, nobody likes him. I mean, it doesn't even make sense. Why even give Gohan the mystic power up if you're never gonna ever do anything with the kid? He's got most potential. As a kid, he was stronger than Goku as an adult in the Sand Saga. <laughs> and now we're here, just Goku and Vegeta. It's like, I think maybe Dragon Ball Z may be the most progressive Shonen manga out there because Toriyama may be the first mangaka to push an openly gay couple. And you may be asking what the oh, gay couple this is, but I, obviously I've been paying attention to Dragon Ball Z because that gay couple is Goku and Vegeta. Goku a little bit more, he's the guy on top while, you know, Vegeta's the bottom, you know. He's like, well, oh, Kakarot. Ever since we made love, I mean, ever since our fight, my life hasn't been the same. You know, Vegeta's coming to terms with the fact that he's gay throughout all of Dragon Ball Z. This is my way of analyzing Dragon Ball Z because Dragon Ball Z sucks so much anyway. Why not add a little spin to it? Why not make the story a little bit more interesting? It makes sense. I mean, honestly, the guy pays more attention to training than he does his own son. He's like, oh, yeah, Trump, yeah, yeah, my pride and joy, all that stuff. I doubt he has sex with his wife. He's always in that fucking gravity chamber, training, 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 waiting for the day, unable to let go of Kakarot being dead. Oh, Kakarot, ever since you died, I have been unable to move on. I need to fight you, Kakarot. So much so, he was willing to let Bobbity fucking take control. He loves that guy, man. It's the first openly gay shonen couple of all time. So I will, I will give credit where credit is due because Mecha Slash is, as he is loud, he is a fair man. Look, he is still fair. He may be loud as fuck, he may be cruel sometimes, but Mecha Slash is, when the day is done, a fair man. And I'm fair enough to give credit where credit is due. Toriyama, if your goal was to make the first openly gay couple in all of Shonen history, I commend you. Because like I said, neither of them spends any time with their, each other. They really, really seem to get off on fighting each other, even for Shonen. It's kind of like, oh, Kakarot, I would sell my soul to Babidi just to make love to you again. I mean, fight. But anyway, Revival of F is going to suck. I mean, if you really think it's going to be great, I'd like to hear why. But honestly, new Super Saiyan transformation, new swag. Frieza coming back from the dead because his henchmen brought him back to life with Dragon Balls, which by the way, is it really so easy to find the Dragon Balls? What? I mean, I understand everybody's got Dragon Radars now, but that's also just a part of why Dragon Ball Z does lot, lost its charm. Dragon Ball in general lost its charm. Everybody's got Dragon Ball Radar. Dragon Balls are constantly being used, and now we're using them to bring back Frieza. Well, pigs, enjoy your trough. Because no matter what I say, you're just going to go watch the movie and enjoy it anyway. But I just want to give my opinion, because you know, Mecha Slash is back. And I know I used to say that a lot and just disappear, but no, this time for real. And I will solidify it by uploading this video, Dragon Ball Z Revival of F will suck. I solidify it here, you're witnessing history here, people. So, have a good evening, and I hope you enjoyed my little performance today. Take it easy, pigs. <laughs>